what is going on everyone welcome to another video and i'm really excited about this one because yesterday samsung rolled out the one ui 8 update to the galaxy s25 series and is packed with upgrades so we're talking updates from galaxy ai enhancements to new tools for personalization decks reminders health camera and audio so there's a lot to explore and for this video, I can't cover everything. I am going to try to include something like a screenshot in the video or a video that's going to be in this video, something like that, just to kind of give you an idea of the updates that are in this update. That being said, for this video, I'm focusing on the features that stand out for me and they're going to have a focus on productivity and investing. I think this update is huge because it's demonstrating that smartphones are becoming more smart. They're not just going to be for calling and texting, obviously. They are not just for playing video games. They're not just for social media. They're not just for recording content. This is becoming your all around, not only AI companion, but all around computing device. And I think it's important to note that Samsung is leading in this area. They do it better than Google with their Pixel and they do it better than iPhone from what I can tell, a lot better than those devices or anything else that is available to purchase. Now, before we go any further, I do wanna mention that the device we are showing for this video is going to be the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. I am a user of the Z Fold 7 as well, but with these updates that we will be covering in this video, I actually have come to love the regular devices a bit more, not only for durability, but because of this update, because of the features that it's bringing to this phone that allows us to get more out of a smaller device that doesn't fold. So that being said, we actually have a list of items, accessories that you can purchase for the S25 Ultra to create the ultimate loadout. We're talking things from the case itself. There's also nice gamer stickers just to show that off there if you're interested in it. We do uh, screen protectors as well, as well as uh, wrist straps. So this is a nice way to create the ultimate kit. So first we're going to have enhanced split screen. Now, I've already covered this feature on the Z Fold 7 as well as the S23 Ultra through the One UI 8 Beta. And now we have that enhanced split screen on the S25 series. I'm really excited about that. In fact, it is this feature that has allowed me to switch from the Z Fold 7 to the S25 Ultra without me feeling like I'm making a compromise. And that's a pretty huge deal. So in the event that you're new to this feature, Enhanced Split Screen allows you to pin one application to the edge of the display, allowing you to focus more on the other. So you're running two applications, one smaller, one's larger, and you can switch between them by tapping on that smaller one and redirecting your focus to it. And again, this maximizes the display real estate on your device. And that means you don't have to opt for a larger device. You don't have to opt for a tablet or a foldable. You can stick with a traditional device like the S25 Ultra, and it's going to give you more out of what you are limited to. And I think that's really futuristic. Next, we're going to have a redesign for Samsung Internet. So for this application, the menu has been optimized to make it easier to access the features you use the most. And you can customize the layout to match your preferences. So as you can see here, I've moved the address bar to the bottom of Samsung Internet for improved accessibility. That way I don't have to reach up towards the top of my phone to access that address bar to make changes or put in a new address or anything like that. This update also allows you to make changes to the layout in the menu. Now, this took me several attempts to get things to where I like them, and I might experiment furthermore with this just to optimize things a little bit more. So I added and reorganized tools in the menu and toolbar to enhance accessibility here as well. 
So I think that's the focus here is improved accessibility in Samsung internet and I'm really liking it. And it's also important to note that if you made these modifications and you're not happy with them, you can easily reset everything to the default using the reset button in the top left hand corner. So next we're going to have sticky notes and I'm really excited about this one. Even though it sounds kind of silly, sticky notes, like how can that make things better? So sticky notes are now in Samsung notes and they work with PDFs as far as I know. I've only experimented with this for a little bit so I have limited experience but I'm liking it so far. So now you can add quick annotations on top of documents directly within Samsung Notes. Again, I really like this feature because you can open PDF files right in Samsung Notes and place sticky notes throughout the document. So I have some examples here where I find this feature especially useful and that's going to be in my favorite books from series such as Altered Carbon and Cyberpunk. Now again, I have limited experience with this feature and I need to experiment with it more, but I do want to check on other features such as if the notes that I do place in here, if they're going to be easy to move around or if they're in another location of the app outside of the book itself or that PDF file. So what excites me most about this feature is the ability for me to dive deeper into the digital books that I enjoy and absorb the content more fully. And beyond just reading digital books, it's also going to be incredibly helpful for more important documents. Next, we're going to have a feature I didn't see come in, and that's going to be the ability to check stock prices in the now bar. So now we have the ability to check stock prices without unlocking your device. This is going to be huge for investors. So how this works is stocks you follow through Google Finance that experience significant price changes will appear on your now bar at the end of the trading day. Now, if you're wondering where to find Google Finance like I was, I thought maybe this is an application that I didn't hear about, or maybe it's already in an app that I have, but I didn't know it. I even thought maybe it's in the Google News application. Well, it's actually a web page and the web address is going to be www.google.com forward slash finance forward slash beta. Now I'll also include this link in the pinned comment as well as the video description along with the full script of this video for your reference. That being said, it's important to note that Google Finance currently does look like a beta project as indicated by both the URL and the desktop page. Now, if you're wondering, I did take this web page for a test drive on my S25 Ultra, and it does work, but it seems a bit less optimized compared to its desktop counterpart. Personally, I think it would be great if Google Finance did turn into its own app that you could download from the Google Play Store so that it could be standalone, so that you could dive into it and play around with your tickers a little bit easier and have that information be easier to access at the end of your day automatically through that now bar. This would allow Google to dive deeper into the finance and invest in realm with the start of this application. And I see that this is where the world is going. This is where the smartphone is becoming your all around computing device. We can already use finance applications on the phones that we have here but now we are having more of an automatic connection and I think that's really fascinating. Now, I do have a disclaimer. As for seeing the changes in the stock at the end of the day, again, the beta released yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to observe this yet. We have the market opening tomorrow again and I'm interested to see what happens, but I don't know what this really looks like yet or how well it works. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. Now, again, the One UI 8 update for the S25 series does pack in a lot of other features, but these are the features that I'm most excited about. Now, let me know what you think if you're going to be using these features, if you're excited about them, or if there were other features that you thought maybe are much more better than the ones I've mentioned. Leave all that information down in the comments below and let's have a good conversation. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.